Whoa, y'all are getting really up close and personal. As of 2023, Queen B is worth 540 million. With all that moolah, we wonder how B likes to flex her lux life. Stay tuned until the end to discover what sports cars are in her collection. Okay, I'm ready. Let's throw it way back. We're talking before Bay married Jay-Z. Three years before, to be exact. She launched her solo career and received massive success. I don't know how to relax. So, Beyonce did the smart thing and invested in property. Not just any old housing. A midtown Manhattan condo. The Upper East Side, baby. I always know what I'm supposed to do. At the time, Knowles put down a whopping five million for the crib. To make sure you have your own life before you're someone else's wife. And I mean that. The lavish home boasted three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. After owning the property for 12 years, Bay sold it for 9.9 .9 million. That means she made four million profit. Ka-ching! And after that, Beyonce and Mr. Carter got hitched. The Carters bought a swanky villa in Biscayne Bay, Miami. If you thought Bay's apartment was dope, wait till you hear about this. Seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and an ocean view. Talk about deluxe. Word on the block is the couple cashed out 9.3 million for the home. And it's situated in a super secure gated community. There are only 35 compounds on that island. So, no paparazzi could find their way into the beehive. And when the Carters weren't enjoying Biscayne's privacy, they lived it up in the Hamptons. It's great when you visualize something and it actually comes to life. This was a rental though. We're counting it because they paid 400 grand a month to use the spot. This could be our favorite by far. Their temporary Hamptons home features 11 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, and two kitchens. But that's not all. There's a 10-seat theater, a baseball field, and a two-lane bowling alley. You thought that was it? Nah, we can't miss the club area, DJ booth, or private skate park. You'd never get bored at this house. No wonder Beyonce and Jay-Z paid that rent. You know, I'm still walking on the clouds. Hold up, let's pause real quick. We gotta know, are you subscribed to our channel yet? If not, please make sure you do, and share our channel with your friends. Back to the video. Rumor has it the couple also bought La Casa de Castile. And I said, I want to do that again. The New Orleans property has a steep history. The stained glass windows come courtesy of its previous owners, a church. I can feel so much light and beauty in this room. It was also once a ballet school. Under the Carter's name, it was a private residence. Man, if we tell you, this is a dreamy home. Literally, you know when you have the moments in your life that you always dream about? It featured floor-to-ceiling bookshelves and a unique rooftop garden. I'm so excited. I just, I feel like I'm living a dream completely. Every day, something new is happening. It was listed for just over $4 million when they sold it. Its value might have decreased now, you know, since the whole arson incident. Oh, you don't remember? Back in 2015, the house mysteriously caught on fire. Thankfully, no one was harmed. Bay and the fam were nowhere near the property. A case of arson was open, and the investigations went deep. But until today, the truth was never uncovered. What do you think happened to La Casa de Castile? Always these crazy moments. Up next is another rental, also around 400k. This was in 2017 when Bay was expecting her twins. The family temporarily moved into a Malibu mansion. They call it La Via Contenta. So I don't know how to do it. We'd be content living here too. I'm very happy, I'm very content in my life. The home has breathtaking views of the ocean, not to mention the sleek, modern interior designs. It seems like a great place for Queen Bee to hide away with her babies. I'm still pretty private, and now I think uh, people respect that I'm private. Mr. and Mrs. Carter's next investment was a Bel Air mansion worth 88 mil at the time. The crazy thing is that by 2017, the couple could have put down cash for this house. This is the property they consider home. It's close to friends and family, and it's where Bay and Jay raise their kids. It has four outdoor pools, a spa, and a full-sized basketball court. There's obviously a lot more, but we'd go through all our time listing why this mansion is great. And not too long after the Bel Air purchase, the Carters also copped up a Hamptons estate. Sometimes I'm like, tone it down. The house cost them a staggering $26 million. It's called the Pond House. At this point, they marked themselves as connoisseurs of the real estate world. 
And I just felt like I was in my own world, and it was unbelievable that it was built so many years ago. I'm so happy to, to be able to see it in person. The 100-year-old property is hand-milled woodwork and specialist carved marble. BT dubs, it's the house from Bay's Halo music video. So iconic. I'm Beyonce and I'm the president. <laughs> and most recently, the Carters have switched up their real estate game. Leading up to 2023, they sold off some of their properties. They kept the Hamptons and Bel Air mansions, of course. But the rest was sold so Jay-Z and Beyonce could buy their ultimate dream home. The price for the California dream was a staggering 200 million. In fact, it's the most expensive home ever sold in the area and the second most expensive property sold in American history. Oh yeah, the Carters paid cash. Not only that, but the word on the street is the couple got a 95 million discount on the deal. How do you know? Japanese architect Tadao Ando designed the huge estate. It spans over 30,000 square feet and took over a decade to build. Some say it looks like a Bond villain lair. But one thing's for sure, buying this house was a big flex for Beyonce and her man. And that's not all she spends her cash on. Beyonce is basically swimming in money at this point. Did you know she gifted Jay a private jet for Father's Day? That's big balling. And so is being a Tesla owner. There's nothing more swag. Bay's everyday car is the Tesla Model S. Everyone who's anyone is driving a Tesla nowadays. And the Model S, just like Queen B, is all about the style. The Tesla's base cost is about $75,000. Another car we've spotted Bay with is the 1959 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud II. What a classic! These beauties come with an OHV alloy V8 engine. All that power accounts for 155 horsepower. And given that these babies are collector's items, you can expect to pay no less than 80 grand for good quality. Moving on, we have the Ferrari 458. What better way to announce you're a baller than with a Rari? You know, I'm here and I, I know my style. Besides, the 458 is arguably the most iconic car that Ferrari has ever made. It's powered by a V8 petrol engine and puts out an impressive 562 horsepower. And the price tag? Well, today, the average price sits around $230,000. Last but certainly not least is Yonsei's Lamborghini Huracan. I've done many things in my life, but this is the first. This car is the epitome of beauty. Its 5.2-liter V10 engine makes it beastly too. The Huracan goes from 0 to 100 in just 3.3 seconds. Now, the moment of truth. How much is this car worth? Well, in the 2023 economy, we're looking at a starting price of 215 k If you could live in one of Beyonce's properties, which would you choose? Share with us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!